can you guys hear me now? Okay. Um, you know, I think, you know, we, we faced a great team in a uh, UCF and, um, you know, they just, they outplayed us today and the whole weekend and, um, you know, but I think, you know, the offense will respond, um, and get that figured out next weekend. For you in particular, that's two um, good outings in a row. Do you feel like you've gotten off to the start you wanted to? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, f I felt pretty good out there the past two outings and, um, you know, just trying to attack and, um, the zone and keep putting up zeros for the uh, for the team. Nick, Gunner, you faced these hitters all fall and all spring. Just what did you see from them in the spring? Is this surprising you at all that the offense is down, or did you kind of see this coming a little bit? No, um, you know, just just a rough patch right now. Um, you know, the guys will get it figured out, and um, you know, they they hit all they hit gray in the fall and spring, and um, you know, we'll get through this, and they'll they'll get better right away. Parish. Gunner, I know uh, Coach Bianco has talked about wanting to see you go deeper into games, and, and you went seven today. Do you feel like you're making strides in that area? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, I think um, that was the thing, you know, you talked about this year, and, um, you know, I've prepared, you know, to do that. And, um, you know, I've had, you know, personal and, you know, able to attack these guys, getting around them three, four times in the order. And, um, you know, so, yeah. Thank you. Any more questions for Gunner? All right, Gunner, you're good to go. Appreciate it. Yep, thank you. We're going to have Hayden next. Just give him a quick second to get situated. Ooh. Ben? Yeah, Hayden, it was a tough weekend offensively. What's uh, what's just really the problem, do you think, right now? Um, Guys are not on time with the fastball like how we were last weekend. You know, guys were throwing 97, 98. We were on time for the fastball. You know, we got the gray guy out from TCU, got him out um, just attacking fastball. We weren't on time for fastballs today. Seemed like we were um, chasing a little bit whenever we were hunting the fastball some, but It'll be all good, you know, still early in the season, figuring out the lineups, figuring out how things are going to, you know, work around each other, but it'll all be good. You personally, though, have gotten off to a pretty good start. I mean, how do you feel at the plate right now? I uh, feel good, you know, just trying to do – just trying to do a job for my team, pass the bat all the time, um, just be a team player, get on base. Hopefully, you know, guys like Kel Baker drive me in like he has the past two days. Um, you know, just trying to do everything for the team that I can to get on base and so we can be successful. Nick. Hayden, things have come so easy these first two years on campus for you. How has the dugout responded to a losing series after being so long without one? Uh, I mean, we're hurt. I mean, but also we know we aren't going to win, you know, every single game. But, you know, it still drives us and we believe that basically we can, you know, almost win every single game. It was just just a tough weekend. You know, some things didn't go our way. Um, you know, certain balls they would hit, we, you know, we'd have a guy cover the bag on a steal and they'd hit a ball on the six. So, you know, things like that, you know, aggravating weekend, but, you know, we just got to come better and we got to hit better. You know, pitching was, pitching was amazing this weekend. Doug, Derek, and Gunner, man, they threw all gems, but um, the pack's got to hit a little better and we'll be all right. Any more questions for Hayden? All right, appreciate it, Hayden. You're all good. Thank you. Thank you. All. all right, just give us a quick second here to get Coach Bianco up here, and he'll be our last participant.
Questions for Coach Bianca. Ben? Yeah, Mike, um, obviously the big rally in the ninth to get game two, but for the most part, the weekend was tough offensively. What do you think was uh, really the reasoning for that? Uh, you know, we'll have to you know go back and look at the tape, but, you know, it just, uh, I think one, a big part of it, which, you know, usually it is, is they pitched really well. You know, they were, uh, I thought they were outstanding all weekend on the mound and, uh, you know, even their bullpen, but the three starters were, were, were dominant. And, um, you know, today, you know, the game three, we had a lot of trouble with Jones, but uh, just uh, three really good starters that I thought commanded it. Uh, it wasn't a surprise necessarily of the stuff. And, you know, we expected that, but man, they were really effective. And, you know, we just looked uncomfortable at, at times. Uh, and uh, as I just said on the radio, you know, one of the things that we were able to do last weekend, even though we didn't get a ton of hits, then we faced some really good pitchers. We were, we were able to, you know, uh, bunch some, some at bats together and put some innings together. Uh, you know, that we didn't, they didn't allow us to do it. I thought on Friday night, um, again, Gordon was really good, but they were able to make some, some really good plays. And, uh, you know, at the end, uh, just uh, too good on the mound, really good defense. They, you know, didn't open the door much. Uh, they threw the ball into the strike zone. You know, they didn't walk us. And, uh, you know, uh, again, we just weren't good enough offensively. It's been a long time since y'all dropped the series, Mike. So what was kind of the word to the team after the game? You know, we got to play better, you know, and, and and that's, you know, that's the fairest assessment, you know, that, that I can make right now is they just, they beat us. I mean, you know, straight up just played better than we did. And uh, it wasn't that, uh, it wasn't close, obviously, but they just, it was almost the opposite of last weekend where uh, it seemed like we made all the big pitches to get off the field. Uh, you know, uh, they, they just uh, were so committed offensively, especially in game three. I thought offensively they were really good today. And, uh, and even though I, I, I thought Diamond had good stuff, I just, you know, it seemed like every mistake that he made, a ball that would leak back over the plate, you know, they got, you know, some you know, good swings at. And, uh, um, and even pitches that were good pitches, you know, that I thought he made, uh, they did a, a really good job. But, you know, uh, they just played better than we did. You know, they, it was opposite of last weekend again, where, you know, we made pitches and got off the field this week. We couldn't, uh, last week we were able to get the big hit this, this week. We couldn't put enough hits together to, to mount a lot of offense. Nick. Mike Hayden talked a little bit about thinking that fastball gave you guys some trouble this weekend after facing some of the high velos last week. Did you see that at all? Or do you think that there was something else that might have been contributed to some of the I, off balance. I, you know, I think all the guys were a little different. I think you know Gordon on on Friday night, um, although it, it was plenty of velocity, 90, 93 from the left side. Uh, you know, I think his play, his ball played up a little more, you know, than 90, 93. You know, like it looked like we just couldn't get to his fastball last night. Uh, today, you know, Jones was was different. I, you know, uh, I thought the first guy in game one, the name escaping me now, that uh, the game one pitcher uh, just mixed it enough to where we couldn't, you know, put it together. That that was, you know, maybe the, the disappointing thing, I think, of all of it, you know, where you look at of all the nine, you know, the, the 27 innings, you know, the nine innings in game one, we just, we, we didn't do much, you know, to, to put a, put any, you know, rally together. Uh, Gunner was terrific, but um, back to your question, I thought Jones, it was just a really good mix, a, a really uh, mostly fastball change up and we just couldn't pick it up. And it just seemed like we were, uh, got caught in between where we couldn't catch up to the fastball. Uh, but when we were ready for the fastball, you know, we got the change up and we just, it was a good mix, a ton of strikes, uh, you know, always ahead in the count. We just, we just couldn't do much with it. You talk about putting rallies together. Is that something where it just happens when it happens or is there kind of a key to sustaining those types of rallies? I think we have to do a better job. And that was one of the things and not getting too much into it, you know, into the weeds. But I think one of the things is, you know, we just made it too easy. We had too many three, two counts where we swung at balls, either, you know, high fastballs or changeups in the dirt where we have to be disciplined enough to take those. Uh, and if we can take some of those pitches, you know, innings change. 
you know, from, you know, use from swinging at a high fastball or change up in the dirt at three, two to having a base runner on and another batter. And, you know, what happens is, you know, you, you know, Jones doesn't just get to the seventh, you know, he may only get to the sixth or the fifth, you know, because of pitch count, but uh, you know, uh, again, you know, I'll go back and we'll, me and, you know, Clem will watch the tape, but I think, you know, some of those at bats, you know, uh, you know, we'd like to have back, you know, some of those at bats where uh, we just uh, were non-competitive two strike change up in the dirt. That's not even close or, you know, chasing a high fastball, but, uh, but again, uh, we're going to work on that and, and, and get better, surely. Uh, but, but some of the credit has to go to them. I thought they were, they were excellent on the mound all weekend long. Adam, you're on mute if you're speaking. Coach, uh, could you talk a little bit about how Cole, just how Cole Baker pitched tonight in the eighth and ninth? I thought, yeah, he was, you know, obviously terrific, kept the game, you know, intact and, you know, kept it at seven runs. And, and we needed that after, you know, the, the, the other two, you know, freshmen came in and it just seemed like, uh, you know, they just couldn't find a rhythm. You know, they just couldn't, you know, really uh, go from pitch to pitch and, and throw enough balls into the strike zone and just fell behind too many hitters. Well, really the two freshmen and, and, and Brandon, and, uh, you know, but uh, your Cole showed you, you know, when you, you come in and you hit some spots, you know, um, regardless of how hot the offense is, and they were pretty hot there in game, you know, two today, uh, you know, he was able to get us off the field. Parrish. Mike, you had some guys come off the bench uh, in the first game today and get some big hits. And you had some changes in the batting order over the course of the weekend as well. How much do you know about this, these guys right now as hitters? Are you still learning uh, roles with this team? Oh, without a doubt. And, you know, it's not normal. You, you've watched this for, for a long time, uh, you know, Parrish, and I, and I think we'll continue to do that. You know, certainly – uh, the big talk this week was, you know, losing Peyton and what that would happen to the lineup. And, and as I told you, you know, it, it gives some, you know, it opened the door for some opportunities for some other guys. You saw, you know, Plumlee, you know, get a start today and, you know, Wood got a start, McCants got a second start. Some of that's happening, but then also, you know, to try to get Harris some at bats, you know, uh, Harris, uh, you missed the entire fall. Uh, but it came out this spring and, and really probably we, we weren't sure if he'd even redshirt, uh, but he, he, you know, he can't throw yet, uh, but he's, he's swung it so well, you know, in the early inner squads in, in those three weeks and uh, he's gotten some good swings off, obviously a game, big hit today or big double today in game one. So uh, we'll continue to, you know, to, you know, make some moves because, you yeah, know, we have to figure that out. You know, we, uh, certainly the goal is to, to win games, but it's also to kind of figure out what that lineup's going to be. Um, and then on the other side of the ball as well. Thanks. Thank you. Any more questions for coach? All right. Thank you, coach. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Davis. Thank you.